be asked to attend to say a few words at the official unveiling of this Ulster History Circle Commemoration Day for the noted Carnock and Glens of Antler musician Miss Netta Johnson. Council has been very pleased to support the manufacturing and the installation of this plaque through our community grant scheme. And I understand that the Abbey Historical Society has also been involved in fundraising efforts. I commend the Society for their support and marking a cultural significant figure I would like to take this opportunity to draw attention to the tireless work of the Community Association and to Mary Watson in particular for reminding us all of Miss Johnson, her musical talents, her commitment to the goodwill through fund, founding a cross-community flute band and their long service in the Glens of Antrim Festival. For anyone who has travelled from outside the borough today, you are very welcome to this lovely village of Carnlough, nestling as it does on the world's famous Crosby Coast routes. As Council, we are prioritising the development of tourism infrastructure in a substantial way which will grow jobs while helping share our wonderful natural beauty, culture, tradition and heritage assets with the wild audience as possible. I am pleased therefore that the Ulster History Circle has agreed to a plaque to highlight the life and musical accomplishment of the Lady Piper of Carnival, Mrs. Miss Neva Jane Nigel Johnson, who spent most of her life in Carnival, inspired local people here and across the glens as a music teacher and through her talent playing of the violin, the Lady Pipes. <laughs> and the organ in St Mary's Church of Ireland. It is believed that at one time Miss Johnson was the only female paper in Ulster. Her legacy is this in this regard has now been fitly commemorated by the Piping Scholarship established in her name in 2019. Thank you once again for your kind invitation to this unveiling, unveiling ceremony and I hope that this prepaid flag located on the former premises Johnson's family hard work and funeral business will excite the curiosity of the local people. I'm nearly finished. And the many day trippers who have come to enjoy a day out or a holiday in Carnot. Thank you very much. And by the way, I came from just up the road from Albany. Oh, contacted by someone who's an avowed champion of a person they're hoping we might commemorate. Mary Watson got in touch a while ago to propose Netta Johnson for a circle plaque, as she felt this Lady Piper from over a hundred years ago should be better remembered in the village where she was born, lived, worked and died, on account of the special contribution that she made to the musical life of Carnot. There are still not too many women Ellen Pipers these days, although some are here today, I'm glad to say. But in the early 1900s, I'm sure they were very rare indeed. So it's very much thanks to Mary that we're here today. She's been the mainstay to our holding this plaque unveiling, and our sincere thanks are due to her. We'll hear more later from Mary in the Heritage Hub, where she will give a short talk on Netta Johnston. But before that, I'll ask Mary to say a few words, please. Thank you. Um, at this point, it will be a very few words because it's going to pour down. I uh, just want to say thank you to everybody for coming. I noticed that Helen over there, Helen McAllister's here, and uh, I, need, I need to also say, uh, and I will be telling you later, that Helen was the person who set me off on this journey because she had handed me a folder of stuff about Netta who I'd never heard of, and that's where it all came from. And she herself has also asked for a blue plaque as well so she might not be coming back to the hub after but I, I need her to know that she was the one who set me off on this on the, as they say, journey you know so I'm not going to say any more at this point other than to thank everybody but I'll do the proper thanks for everybody later on uh, when we get back to the heritage hub for a, a sandwich and a, a cup of tea. <laughs> 
Okay. Thanks very much, Mary. Uh, now, our Ulster History Circle's plaques just don't happen overnight. A lot of careful planning over many months and sometimes years goes into each unveiling event. My colleagues on the circle, Dr. David Hume and Maud Hamill, Hamill especially, have between them put in a tremendous amount of effort towards today's event, and thank you to them both. I must also thank Brendan Killark for allowing the plaque to Netta Johnson on this notable building, and all the others who helped us here today. Now, it's almost time for the plaque unveiling, and we are delighted that the Reverend Byron Johnson, the niece of Miss Netta Johnson, is with us here today to perform the honour. But before you unveil this Ulster History Circle plaque, Reverend Violet, might you say a few words, please, about your Auntie Netta? Well, here you've discovered the Reverend bit. I've never been known to talk for more than an hour. Is that all right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Auntie Netta was the eldest of the family. My father was the baby. So, I'm the only survivor. Oh. Oh. And uh, I seem to be a tough old nut to see, so here I am still talking about her. It was great fun when I, we came down to the house where she was. There were all sorts of musical instruments in it. I can remember the pipes, of course, and a flute, which I couldn't get a note out of. And, um, a mandolin. I hear the gentleman who was learning the mandolin is here today. And I remember also finding a zipper. Don't ask me how it got there. However, one thing I do know, my aunt would be very happy to have this lock being uh, put up in the place where she lived. And she would be very, very happy you see, all of you gathered here, and in particular, the young people, um, Ethel, Ethel, who got the scholarship recently for playing the pipes, and other young people who are interested. This we would give a great place of all. And so, if it's all right by you, I'll go ahead and pull this and hope I don't bring it all down. <laughs> That would be rather sad, wouldn't it? Yeah. Right. But it would be great pleasure, I know she would have, in seeing this unveil today and all that it means to her about piping. Thank you very much indeed to Marie for uh, playing there and thank you very much Violet for unveiling the plaque so well for us, thank you. Now, chance of photographs more here yes, yes. and then there's refreshments as you know down at the Heritage Hub. Down with, uh, down with the